going on your big units? My name's Slaughter, welcome back to another video. Now before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel for the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Beta Code. So if you guys want to be entered into that giveaway, make sure you do drop a like on this video. Make sure you do smash that like button because I know if you guys don't hit that like button, okay? I know if you don't hit the like button. So hit the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure you are a subscriber of the channel because you have to be subscribed to enter this giveaway. It's only for subscribers and I do know if you're subscribed because I can just check your sub box like that. And if you're not subscribed, uh, I'm not giving you a beta code. And also drop your Twitter in the comment section below right now. If you don't have a Twitter, make sure to make one because I'm only sending it to you through a Twitter DM. So make a Twitter, follow me on there, and I'll hit you guys up on Twitter with some beta code. So if you guys do want to be entered that giveaway, do those three things. And, you know, it'll be pretty lit. So anyway, guys, what we're going to be doing today is counting down the top five DLC weapons ever added into Black Ops uh, 3 Zombies. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and let's get straight into the top five DLC weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Coming in at the number five spot today, you mad lads, is going to be the STG. Now, the STG is a pretty OG weapon. It was in um, Origins, Black Ops 2. It was in a, a few maps. Yep. I don't really know the maps that it was in, honestly, but it was definitely in Origins in Black Ops 3, and it was in Narked and a few of the other Zombie Chronicles map. but the STG is a freaking sick weapon. It's a mad lad of a weapon, okay? It, uh, it sounds great. It feels great in this game. Um, I like the STG a lot, purely for the reason that it's um, actually got one of the nicest sounding pack-a-punched like bullet sounds when the bullets come out of the the gun when it's pack a punch it sounds pretty nice in black ops 3 that is by the way guys this is only for black ops 3 zombies so just just so we make that clear but uh in the number five spot stg it's just a mad lad of a gun and uh yeah that's why it comes in the number five spot Coming in at the number four spot today, guys, is going to be the Galil. Now, the Galil is an absolute mad lad of a weapon. I keep saying mad lad. I'm sorry. Every time I say mad lad, drop a like. Okay? Just, just do it. Okay? Every time I say mad lad, drop a like. See? That's a like. Mad lad, drop a like. Mad lad, drop a like. But anyway, guys, the Galil is an absolute lit weapon. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone loves the Galil. The only reason this, uh, this gun is not higher on the list, guys, is because of the reflex sight that is on it. Now, unfortunately, you cannot get the uh, Galil inside of Black Ops 3 Zombies without the reflex sight. It was added in Zombie Chronicles um, for, like, all the Zombie Chronicles maps, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's in every single one apart from Origins. Um, but the Galil is an absolute awesome weapon. It's um, always been good on damage. It's always uh, useful. Uh, in the higher rounds, like round 30, um, and obviously it's just a weapon that we all love. It's an OG, and it's just a, it's an awesome weapon to be having in the game. So that's why it comes in the number four spot. The only reason it doesn't get high is because it has the reflex sight. I don't think it looks good with the reflex sight. I don't enjoy the weapon with the reflex sight, but it's still a good weapon, and that's why it comes in at the number four spot. Coming in at the number three spot today, guys, is going to be the MP40. Now the MP40 is a huge fan favorite when it comes to COD zombies. Um, I definitely love it. It's definitely an awesome weapon uh, but the mp40 has always been one of the OG's fan favorites that everyone loves it's on origins it's on uh, like the other maps as well I'm pretty sure uh, it's on like the maps of zombies in black ops 3 but uh, the mp40 it's a great gun it's um, very very fun to use I always enjoyed using it it was always my go-to weapon when I played origins and especially uh, in black ops 3 origins I still use mp40 heaps it's an awesome weapon it's a lot of fun to use and it just brings you back to the bo2 days but uh, it's the number three spot because it's one of the best DLC weapons I've seen added into the Black Ops 3 Zombies uh, zombie cycle. And I definitely enjoyed having it inside the game and still enjoy having it inside the game. So that's why it comes in at the number three spot. Coming in number two spot today, guys, is going to be the RPK. Now, the RPK just recently got added in the last week or so, and it's definitely my favorite weapon added so far. The RPK has always been a fan favorite. It's one of the OG weapons inside of COD Zombies history. Um, it's it's an awesome weapon. The Pack-A-Punch camos look insane on it. The reload animation looks awesome, and when you fire a bullet, it actually sounds so crisp. It sounds so nice. I definitely enjoy using this weapon. It's uh, got a lot of ammo, and it is also a very very good weapon to take into high round games like say the giant or something like that it would be awesome to take um you know that weapon into the giant i'm not, actually not too sure if it's on the giant of black ops 3 zombies but i know it's in gorod and i know it's in all the zombie chronicles maps but it's definitely one of my favorite dlc weapons ever added that's why it comes in at the number two spot now before we get into this number one spot i want to just get some honorable mentions off my chest so some honorable mentions today is going to be the m1911 the ak74u and also 
the M16. Yes, there's some pretty good weapons. Uh, definitely fan favorites as well. Only reason some of them didn't make it on the list is because the AK-74U is just isn't good enough damage-wise. The Mustang and Sally's or the M1911 um, turned into the Mustang and Sally's just doesn't feel the same as when it was in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. And also the M16, when pack a punch is not a fully automatic weapon like it used to be. So that's why they're not on the list today. But coming in at the number one spot today is going to be the PPSH. Now we originally saw the PPSH come into Black Ops 3 Zombies at Garod Crovey. The whole community was so hyped about this gun just coming through. We saw it in the Garod Crovey trailer and you guys have probably seen so many compilations of the PPSH reaction when it came to the Garod Crovey map. It was just the most hyped thing in the world. It's just such an awesome weapon, especially when it comes to using it pack a punch on Garod Crovey. I take it into the boss fight all the time. Even though it's probably not useful for the boss fight, I just take it in because one of my favorite weapons to use of all time, the PPSH is one of the greatest weapons. I love it so much and that's why it comes in at the number one spot. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure you do drop a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, I definitely enjoyed making this video. Not really, but uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new and remember, if you guys want to be entered into the BO4 beta giveaway, make sure you do do all those requirements by dropping a like, subscribing and letting me know your Twitter at down in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, I'm going to catch you tomorrow in another video because your boy is on the everyday grind now. Starting today, this is the first video of the everyday grind. And if I, do, if I do miss a video, then make sure to come back to this video and let me know that I missed a day and that you guys get to slap me in the face. But anyway, guys, I've been your boy Slaughter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bizarre.